Good morning, everybody. Mr. Newfield here in the classroom. It's Cinco de Mayo. What does that mean? Well, I put a link to a video um, on the blog that I'll tell you all about Cinco de Mayo. That's what today is. Okay, so just a reminder, do the calendar today. Remember to elevate her up. Today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. And if you look, I put a link on the blog that will take you to a calendar on Starfall and it will help you do it for you. So try that. It might be kind of fun. Then, report on the weather. Hi there, this is Mr. Newfeld reporting to you live in the field. Uh, the sky right now, I can report back to you that there is, uh, there's lots of sun, there's blue, and there's a little bit of cloud. So I'm going to predict it today is going to be pretty nice. Back to you, Mr. Newfeld. Okay, and then for language arts today, well, guess what? We finished the alphabet. We've done, we've done it all. So now what we want to do is see what we remember because we started it back in September. So find somebody, get a piece of paper and a pencil and test your knowledge, okay? Now, this is not a test. I don't want you to panic, ah, it's a test. Okay, this is uh, just, let's see what we remember, okay? And a chance to, uh, remind yourself of things we did back in like before Christmas. So get a bunch of like <coughs> letters and have someone just randomly say, okay, write the letter Q, okay? Write the big one, write the little one, okay? And see if you can remember the sound it makes. Mm, makes qua, right? Okay, and go through them. And if you have any you're not sure of, now you know what to work on, okay? Because what we wanna have for September when grade one starts is to know all the letters, how to print them, big, small, and what sounds they make, okay? And that means you're ready to read, okay? So that's your uh, assignment for language arts today. Test your alphabet. And after that, we're gonna read. Read from your book box, okay? Parents, there's lots and lots of books in here they can read from. Pick a couple there. <coughs> Go on to reading A to Z. My daughter and I, we've we found the uh, poetry in the song and we've been trying that one out. Along came a spider. And then also, um, in your package here, if you come and pick that up, in there, there's a lesson in there about the words yes and no. Okay, we've done them in class. Hey, Emmy, do you know this word? No, you don't know the word? Doesn't know the word, you guys. This is the word no. N-O spells no. And don't forget, Y-E-S spells yes. Now, here's a little practice you can do with a, with a parent or somebody, okay? And on the back, there's also a little practice you can do. And then... You can read this book, okay? It's got the words we've done before, plus um, some new words. And I'm gonna keep going with this kind of stuff just because it gives me something to give you so we're all on the same page, literally. Okay, then we're gonna do, uh, it's Tuesday, so we're doing our numbers workout. Don't forget to do six elbows to knees. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Come on, Levi, elbow to knee. In math, I wanna carry on with our math stories. But this time, I want you to have just five of something. So I've got five ponies, okay? There are three downstairs, and there's two upstairs. Well, the ones downstairs say, hey, come join us downstairs. So the two upstairs come downstairs, and now how many are downstairs? That's right, there's five of them, okay? Well, what if one was upstairs? Now how many are downstairs, okay? and Tell a story, okay? There was now one upstairs playing hide and go seek, but they couldn't find them. So they all went to look for the pony together. So all four of them went upstairs and found the other pony. Now there was five upstairs, all right? And then what you could do is maybe try and trick somebody, okay? Your sister or someone and say, okay, there's five ponies. How many are missing? Can they tell? Okay, what if I do this? Now, how many are missing? What about this? How many are missing now? And that's your assignment for today, May the 5th. Good luck, my little Jedi Knights. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. In your package, you're gonna find a piece of card stock with a little line down the middle of it. Save that for Friday, okay? That's for something special for Friday, for Sunday, because Sunday is Mother's Day.